Hello, good evening my subscribers. Um, my name is Chekube Madichie and um, it's been quite a long time I posted something on my channel and this is because I've got a really tight schedule and um, even this time I'm using to post this uh, make this video I have to I have to really spare out this time at least to keep my audience busy with something now what do I want to bring to you today what I really want to bring to you today is a simple trick on how to log all your variables at the same time without having to go through the stress of logging them one after the other okay um uh, of course this may not really be a very interesting uh, uh, topic but i think it is necessary that uh, somebody this might be useful to somebody uh, especially when you've got uh, too many variables in your work file and you want to log all of them how do you go about logging them you know without uh, wasting time uh, uh, spending much time logging them one after the other how do you do that at the same time so that you save some time okay that is what i want us to learn today okay now what do we do we have three variables in this work file okay top rogdp and mop and we want to uh, log all these variables at the same time without having to log them one after the other now how do we log them one after the other if you make reference to my previous video on how to log variables you will remember or you will see that when i was logging all the variables i used this generate uh, uh, button where we have to enter into this equation box and then um, for instance if i want to log rogdp now i will say okay hello rogdp okay equals log in bracket rogdp okay i will click ok now this process is applicable to all the variables one after the other okay but what i'm saying here is that um, for somebody who has too many variables in the work file and you want to log all of them what do you do to save some times and i'm saying that here i am bringing you a simple tip okay on how to log all the variables at the same time without having to do that one after the other so how do we begin we want to first of all create a group for the variables we have in the work file how do we create this group you hold down the control key and pick them one after the other okay you can see i have picked them one after the other you right click and open them as a group okay if you open them as a group you name the group now by default if you would name this group group one and we want to go with what the what if you are giving us if you like you can close the group okay i have closed this group and this group is group one okay group containing the unlocked variables now another question is how do we want the logged form of these variables to appear in our work file and we say that to show to differentiate between log variables and unlogged ones we have to attach or prefix l in all the variables okay that is what we are going to do but how do we do that because we want to apply this log on all the variables we go to quick you go to quick you move down to empty group you empty open this empty group you can see this is the if you worksheet where you can add variables okay so here we want to add variables we want to add variables and their names will be the log form of that is the way we want the log form of the variables to appear and remember the way we uh, open the other uh, group we had a gdp so we now call it lgdp okay you come here we have l m o p you come here we have l t o p now this is the way 
the log form of the variables will appear in our work file okay now you can uh, uh, close the edit uh, 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 icon okay if you close the edit uh, icon you can now name the group if you go to name it will name it group 2 we want to work with group 2 but here bear in mind that our group 2 in this work file will show us the logged variables of course you can see that nothing is added to this uh, uh, work file nothing has been added here because we have not actually uh, added something here so you can close this group now and open the first one the group one now if you open this group one now what do we do you can see this icon here the default the data is still in its default form on its raw data form now if you click on the drop down key you come down and see log this log here is the same natural log reading that we apply whenever we want to log our variable so if you click on this log it is going to convert all the figures here into log transformation okay what do we do at this point we now copy all the figures here okay we copy the figures uh, you can, can see I'm copying it now and uh, 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 we move to group 2 we open group 2 now I have opened the group 2 so when you open group 2 you pull the straw bar to the top as I have done you click on edit icon to allow you to edit this group okay now place the uh, pointer on the first column of uh, column of the 1970 you can see where i'm placing it now and click ctrl v okay i have pasted the logged variable so now you can close the edit and of course uh, 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 close up everything now I return to the original one and uh, take it back to its default uh, form okay remember you can click ctrl save take it back to its default form here we have the group of logged uh, variables and um, in our work file we can see that some variables have been added to our work file lmop we showed log of mop you can see the variable here and you can see the other one logdp it has been logged okay all the variables log will also appear in the work file now we have log of variables and unlogged variables okay in the work file thank you very much for your time and um, please do subscribe to this channel and um, share this channel and make it go viral support this channel the only way you can help us grow why we are bringing you this thing for free is for you to support us okay recommend the channel to your friends okay i hope this video uh, helps somebody like i said this may not really be a, a very interesting video but i believe it will save somebody uh, some time because some time ago somebody has come to my uh, facebook uh, my messenger facebook messenger asking me how he's going to log up to 1000 variables in his work file is was carrying out a very uh, uh, large variable research uh, where uh, uh, it has to do with the uh, stock market uh, uh, variables so he had a lot of variables in the work file and he was trying to know the tips uh, he can use to apply log at the same time without having to go through the stress of logging all of them one after the other so uh, i still believe that this video can actually help somebody answer